Welcome to the Now, I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm Gus Sirola. Adblocker Plus, the most popular ad blocker on the web, just put a brand new program into beta that gives you more of what you always wanted. Ads. No, they can't add more blocking, right? Unless they add more ads. Right. Uh, the new version of Adblocker Plus's acceptable ads program will get rid of the ads you hate seeing in all your favorite content and will instead replace them with ads served by Adblocker Plus themselves, which they will then collect revenue from. Wow. So generous. Bold new direction. This move is proving to be just a little bit controversial. Ad blockers in general are already controversial enough for interrupting the business model that content creators rely on. But now Ad Blocker Plus is not only blocking that business model, they're taking the money directly for themselves without any agreement with content creators, which some would call, I don't know, stealing maybe? I would call it stealing. Look, before we get too much further into this, we can't even pretend to be unbiased in this case because ad we blockers, really can. It, it affects every content creator who wants to make a living outside of a paywall. Uh, so we'll try to cover each side of the issue here, but you should know in advance where we stand and I'm, I'm not gonna try to cover the other side of the issue. And we're I, gonna- I hope, I hope you cover the other side. We'll, well, we'll, we'll, <laughs> do, we'll do our best to at least like acknowledge points, but just so you know, the sarcasm meter is gonna be turned to 10. Uh, but before we get too salty about the delicious irony of ad blocker plus needing to serve ads to make money, let's give a little primer about how ad revenue works for those who maybe don't know. I want to see like dollar bills falling down the screen here. Can That's how it works. Uh, all dollar bills. It's just like <laughs> money everywhere. Woo! It all starts with your eyeballs, which are worth a whole lot of money to all the companies out there trying to sell stuff. Well, I mean, it's not your eyeballs specifically that are worth a lot of money. It's an entire audience's collective eyeballs. It takes a lot of eyeballs. And the wallet that they're connected to. <laughs> Anyone who's creating something people want to read or watch or listen to on the internet has two basic options if they want to be able to pay bills and eat food, which most people do. They can either charge people for it or they can provide it for free. But as we all know, nothing is really free. So if a creator isn't selling their content to you, they're selling you or your eyeball specifically to people who are willing to pay to put their products or services in front of a big audience. And sometimes your ears. Sometimes your ears. And the way they do that is with ads. The more eyeballs on the ad, the more money the content creator gets. That unspoken contract is what allows anybody to provide content without charging for it. Contrary to popular opinion, businesses exist to make money. Creators can't spend all their time creating content if they have to go get a job and work full time because the content can't support them. Many of those advertisers want to be sure their ads are seen, even if it means interrupting content or downright overshadowing it, which has led to some obnoxious practices on the web. As a result, other companies began creating a service that put a stop to those intrusive ads, and those services are called ad blockers. There are, there really are some annoying ads out there. Uh, so there are some valid points in the pro ad blocking camp, which we'll dig into a little bit later, uh, mostly the annoyance factor, but ad blockers have become controversial because they interfere with the business model that allows content creators to provide their content free of charge. So not only are you getting content for free, it's also stopping the flow of money into a creator's pocket and potentially putting them out of business. Which brings us back to the most popular of these ad blocking programs, none other than Adblocker Plus, who is now proving that ads are what make the internet go round because even they need to serve ads to make money. <laughs> what, what, where are we? What is this? <laughs> this is the darkest timeline. According to Adblocker Plus, their acceptable ads program will make for a better internet because it's gonna replace bad ads with good ones. Good meaning the ads that Adblocker gets paid for. They know that what you really wanted all along was their own ads when you downloaded it. This new rollout of the Acceptable Ads Initiative is an extension of the program they've been running since 2011, where certain publishers' ads were whitelisted if they paid Adblocker Plus enough money and they met certain standards the company defined as not annoying. They're now increasing the program from a few approved ads to an entire ad marketplace. If publishers, that is content creators, agree to the terms, they can now use that marketplace to approve Adblocker's ads on their content. It's essentially turning Adblocker Plus into a new ad network and you have to give Adblocker Plus 6% of the money made from those ads. It's like you can't make a deal with any other ad network. Right. You have to use this network. Yes, exactly. Or, the, or, the, or they'll block it. Right. Uh, which it bears repeating is a need that wouldn't have existed if they hadn't blocked the ads you already had on your content in the first place. It's like building a wall and making you pay for it. That, that, is, that sounds strangely familiar. ABP thinks that creators should be thankful for this opportunity hmm. to get to display any ads at all and give ABP some of the money that should have gone to the creator in the first place. About the new program, they said ad blocking would have happened with or without us. What we were able to do is try and reverse the spread of 100% black and white ad blocking, blocking everything. 
the, Thanks, the, guys. The, the, the real generous. The thing that they popularized. Uh, it should also be noted that any ad served by ABP will be much less relevant to the viewer as they're part of a pool meant for all of ABP's network. Plus, they'll probably be far less lucrative than an ad or sponsorship deal that was paid for by another advertiser specifically for that audience. Yeah, so we're taking your money and we're allowing you to make some pennies back. Are you grateful? That's kind of what that sounds like. There's also no way to extend this kind of a partnership to a publisher as large as, say, YouTube, for example, to make sure the money gets back to some of your favorite entertainers. Right now, the program seems geared more towards blogs and other ecosystems that are managed by individual entities where there's no split out afterwards. Naturally, this new program is kicking over the hornet's nest all over again when it comes to ad blockers in general. Yay. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. On the pro ad blocker side, it's creating all kinds of deliciously ironic comments like this one from Gizmodo, where one poster legitimately asked, because at some point the people working on ABP would like to make some money, and if you're not willing to support it by paying for it, they have to make money somehow. If you have an idea for another way they could do so, they're all ears, I'd imagine. Brilliant. Right, it's like they've come up with an entirely new business model. It's genius Brilliant. and very just revolutionary. The people who make something want to get paid for it. Well, I mean, that's okay. Yeah, I, imagine that. But to be fair to people in that camp, there are a couple of legitimate concerns with the way ads are served. For one, the presence of malware in some advertising, which is a big deal because of the rising rate of malvertising. One study indicates it's almost tripled in recent years. However, the researchers involved in that study agree that ad blocking is simply a short-term solution, not a permanent one. The problem isn't so much ads as it is bogus ad networks who aren't as selective as they should be, and ABP is becoming an ad network itself thanks to this new program. So really the only thing that sets them apart from their claim is that they'll try not to annoy you about it. Obviously, there's no cut and dry solution here. Ads need to be better, but creators also deserve to get paid for their hard work. Research shows that as of 2015, there are nearly 200 million active ad block users and counting around the globe now, which have cost publishers, and that's the actual content creators, as much as $22 billion per year. That's a lot of money. It's really no surprise that services like Patreon have become increasingly popular as things like Adblocker have become more prevalent. Ads already rely on a massive impressions to generate any kind of notable, sustainable revenue. And when 200 million of those possible impressions become worth zero dollars, creators are driven to a subscription model to support themselves. Soon everything's gonna be moving behind a paywall. That's the direction it seems to be going. Yep, uh, and Rooster Teeth is lucky. We diversified our revenue stream because ads on videos actually didn't exist when Red vs. Blue started. That's why we do shirts, DVDs. Hey, look, shirts, <laughs> shirts. Rooster Teeth's first subscription, subscribe now. Uh, most creators aren't that lucky. Ad revenue is what supports most of their efforts, and it's those smaller independent content creators that are hit the hardest. Yeah, but hey, it's a good thing Adblocker Plus is magnanimous enough to give them back a little bit of their own money, right? At least until someone creates an Adblocker Plus for Adblocker Plus, it's Adblocker Plus Plus. That's exactly what I was thinking, right? It's gonna be the next tier where it, you can just give them money directly to get out of the network, right? Probably, it, yes. I'm, I'm sure. And then the the whole internet implodes. What do you guys think of Adblocker Plus now selling its own ads? Let us know in the comments. And for future news about content creation and all things related to it, like this video and subscribe to the know. And buy a shirt! We're apparently not gonna get paid for ads, so please buy a shirt. Sign up for Wait. first. Yeah, Richard Cheese first. It's the shit. We do a patch post show. You only get that if you're a first member.